it is time. Welcome back. 1.4 uh, is gone. We're now playing 1.5 Banks. Welcome to Utopia. Mankind has prevailed. But once again, we look upon the stars as the people of Unity are looking for a new place to make themselves, well, powerful once again. Our empire name, of course, will be the Imperium of Man. If I can spell it. Our flag, of course. We're gonna be a Imperial. We're gonna remove these distinguish uh, the distinguish Admiralty from this. And we're gonna add efficient bureaucracy so we can have more core worlds. Our starting weapons will be projectiles, and we will be playing this entire series with hyperspace. We'll be using the reptilian ships because I look badass. Unity, Deneb. Humans, plural. Our ruler, Sydney Blo Beauclair. Let's put her in a cool room. That'll do. Done. Allowed FPL travel. Only hyperdrive. We'll be playing on a large galaxy with 800 stars. With four arms in a spiral. Habitable worlds are set to normal. AI aggressiveness is set to normal. Advanced neighbors are off. Iron Man is on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Utopia. More than a century has passed since the great arc ship Chrysanthemum carried a quarter million of our ancestors from the distant Earth to the garden world we have known as Unity. After a long and perilous journey, the colonists rejoiced when they first saw the sunlight once again, albeit from a foreign star. The early years were difficult. Militia, citizen militias were formed to fight off the lethal alien wildlife that we find ourselves sharing our new home worth and cultivating the terrestrial crops has been brought proof harder than imagined. Yet for each challenge overcome, we became stronger. Once this new world had been tamed, our numbers grew exponentially. The last few decades have been seen as seen great, la great leaps in technology. And we are now, finally, ready to reach for the stars and reclaim this reclaim from whence we came. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our galaxy. It's a bit smaller than the last time, but it will do. I've already detected soul, although there is a black hole there, so it may not be soul, but you get the general idea. All right. Let's uh, lower this uh, shenanigree here. All right, solar panel network, number one, good call. Monthly influence, yes. Ion thruster. Let's split up our fleet, and let's get rocking and rolling. Science ship, you're going to survey the system. Construction ship, you're going to be hanging out with the science ship for the next duration. Let's take a look at Unity, shall we? Looking good. Decent tiles. I am happy with it. Let's uh, reset this. And let's send out the strike force. We're going to need to do a bunch of um, pretty in-depth surveying of every single star in the neighborhood. I am fine with this. First things first, extra science ship. Let's take a look at our ship designs. They look good. Okay. Now let's get this party underway, shall we? We've got a new heir to our empire. Space Miner. Constructor built costs and mining stations reduced. Monthly influence plus one. That's going to be important. Uh, okay. 
Crown Prince, Frontier Spirit, Colony Ships bonus, and Buildings Shop. We got our new first anomaly on Luna. Let's take a look. What do we got? Continental World, size 16. That's a good one right off the get-go. Ah, uh, it's so good playing a game again from scratch. Wow, another one. A Continental World, size 21. Excellent. Let's get a scientician on there. Uh, leader experience gain is fine by me. Okay. Let's survey the star. We'll do the same thing with uh, this one over here. Let's take a look at Unity. We got some energy on the ground. We're not going to spend it on energy, though. We want some minerals first. What is up with this music? It is so epic. It's a bit too loud, in my opinion. Let's just lower it down to here. What an introduction into into the game, into Utopia. Utopia, a version of the game that I consider to be 1.0. It is, to me, the game that should have been released. Ancient Survey Marker, nice, plus four minerals. That's huge. Okay, what are our choke points? This is a choke point, this is one, and this is one. Remnants, the Ministry of Unity has received science Leroy's on alien remnants of from apprehension. We have found any the, leave, the leavings and questions are now widely considered to be defi definitive proof of unknown forces having been active in the galaxy. What? Where? I don't see anything. Oh well. Let's continue scouting with our with our force. Shouldn't take too long. Hyperdrive is exceptionally fast. Spool up time can be a bit of a problem though. We have We got alpha bogies, enigmatic spacefarers. Crystallines. All right, cool. We can deal with that. It also means that we may have crystalline plating, uh, crystalline forge plating at some point during this game playthrough. Alien space station detected. Good. Crystalline space station has been found. 5.1. Good. We can take that. Situation log updated. Bravo bogies. What is this? Space cows. All right, I can deal with that. Okay, good. <clears throat> we got another planet. A Gaia world. Okay, there's a Gaia world in here. We don't know. It's size 23. That's pretty decent. We got a bunch more minerals ready to be to be built. We'll continue to focus on minerals for the moment. Ooh, forty percent. Uh, let's leave it for now. It's pretty high. Habitable worlds. Okay, what do we got? A uh, couple of. We got a lot of crystallines nearby. We we'll have to be careful. But having access to a Gaia world early is going to be a very good. Tundra world down in here. The north seems to be fairly... Fairly barren. Let's survey this system. And follow up with uh, this system. After that, and then we'll work our way down the line. We'll need to avoid the other system there. Uh, this one with, uh, with the Gaia planet in it. It's going to require about 3k to take that world. It's going to be done relatively quickly, but we already have a couple of good steps. And we have a couple of funnels that we can, uh, yeah, if we can colonize all the way down here, this is a good funnel area. OK, 
Okay, so three worlds right off the bat. What do we got? Ooh, natural beauty. This is a great world. Construction complete. Okay, colony ship is going to cost us 350. The main problem that we have at the moment is that the Age of Space Piracy will pop up soon. Which is a huge liability. Alright, Deneb's been done. More crystallines? No, we got... Okay, so we have ourselves some mining drones. Okay, you're done surveying here. Let's send you up the pipe. Let's try to avoid all of these uh, these systems that have hostile aliens in them. Okay, the anvil could do some construction on some mining. We got plus 15 a month. Still quite a lot. Uh, let's take a look at unity here, shall we? Some food. Uh, food is now done globally. We got plus five, so that's great. The Imperium of Man. Our first goal will be to colonize this arm of the galaxy. Wow, we got a lot of resources very early on. So that's more drones. It is more drones. All right, that was to be expected. Okay, what have we got? Okay, I'm going to send you all the way down the arm. The north seems to be a little bit barren, sadly. But we already have a couple of good positions that we can use as uh, funnels. Mass extinction, our first stumbling steps into the void. Beyond unity, we're not motivated solely by curiosity or a desire to conquer the unknown or a need to leave our mark on the galaxy. The biosphere of unity has undergone rapid changes in the past few centuries. Some prominent scientists warn that unity may be facing the beginnings of a mass extinction event, that cyclical purging of life that is inseparable from the planetary existence in the greater cosmos. A research plan had been put together to study a, numer a number of planets rendered inhabitable by major astronomical incidents or planet-bound catastrophes. We hope that by reconstructing these events, a similar fate may be avoided on Unity and the human race. It falls to you as Empress of the Imperium of Man to ensure that this expedition is carried out. Cool little thing. We can. Uh, we should be able to track all... No, apparently not. Oh, well, that's annoying. Okay, we got a bunch of worlds... These ones, they're pretty far away, especially this one. This could be a challenging one, but... Oh well. Okay. Okay, let's uh, bring all the ships back to Unity. We're going to be running into... Uh, our stockpile is too not big enough. Okay, um, ba -ba -ba -bum. policies, uh, food stockpiling, balanced, yes, 40%, let's leave it alone, 40% is way too dodgy to work with. Situation log updated. System really, we need to research that world? It's pretty far. Nothing that we shouldn't be able to handle, though. Come on, I need my first colony ship out. It's a continental world that also happens to have a science thing attached to it. Let's research it. It's only 20%. It's doable. Uh, my scientists have leveled up. So that is fine. What's the pool like? A thousand. Monthly gain. Okay. That's fine. Uh, the pool can at least uh, feed the population for the for l for a little bit. As soon as our first colony ship is out, we'll uh, send out the. Um, what level are you surveying? Okay. 
As soon as that is done, you can go and survey that. So that's all queued up nicely. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm 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 done with the music now. <laughs> there we go. Much better. All right, we're back. Uh, ooh, Stagnus Ascendancy. Okay. Another child. We are the figure watchers. The chosen people of this galaxy who respect our holy places. Well, you can also... The age is over. There, the time for humanity has come. All right, cool. Okay, they're pretty far away. I haven't seen any holy worlds, so... Oh, don't tell me that Earth, that soul is in here. That would really tick me off. Oh, well. Let's take a look at colony ship. Ooh, what's this? Failure. Uh, uh, do not make any more mistakes, I guess. All right, cool. Ah, uh, yeah. So far, so good, though. We only have an alien, uh, we only have a stagnancy down here. And I haven't found any other alien species yet. Which is kind of worrying, I guess. Okay, we can build a colony ship. Good. Uh, actually, there's a better way of doing this. Uh, this one. Yes. Uh, the food tiling doesn't really matter anymore. Although the bonuses are nice. Um, so I'll put you on this one. Um... Iron Forge. There we go. First world. It's been a while since we had a first world. Three months to be exact. Alright, cool. So now we should be able to just build whatever we want relatively quickly. Uh, we can build a new mining station pretty soon as well. I'm a little bit worried about our energy income at the moment. As a uh, central orbit here. Ooh, forty percent. Small rapid object is that? That's the that's the conundrum. Okay, so we need to have enough fleet power in order to uh, deal with all this stuff. Come on, and just one more, ten more days. I can build an energy energy station. There we go. Uh, what? God damn it. <laughs> Off by one. Uh, where's Veer? Uh, can I dismantle him? I should be able to dismantle him. Alright, did you make it? Failure. God damn it. Um, I need you to survey this system once you're done. Uh, can you get over here? Survey that one, that one, and this one. Hmm, that's annoying. Ooh, we got a tradition. Ah, okay, so because of the way our influence system works, we have got new influence. We can pick expansion, this domination, prosperity, harmony, diplomacy, and supremacy. Uh, is in domination. Does not allow me to do orbital bombardment, like ridiculous amounts of it. Okay, expansion, colonization fever. Capital buildings now reach for the stars. Uh, okay. Uh, frontier outpost systems count as... Okay. Cur uh, if I adopted right now. Start with an additional pop. Uh, uh, or I can go for the science. Hmm. Uh, expansion it is. So, expansion, we have another 44 months until we can get a new tradition. And then we will go for colonization fever. And then we'll run our way to our first ascension perk as well, which is going to be Voidborn. Because I want those glorious uh, orbital buildings. Okay, so you have two in here. That's not a very efficient way of doing this. So let's grab a uh, three instead. I think that'd be better. Our construction ship is uh, doing just fine. Okay, let's merge our fleets together. And uh, we need to start building a couple more corvettes as well because we're going to see 
um, the pirate event happening soon, as soon as we plop down our first colony. And that can be very costly, which I want to avoid. Okay, so let's. We should be able to build two more brigand classes before we can take on uh, any sort of pirates. I'm actually surprised that first contact was with a stagnant ascendancy. The Yukt Empire. We've discovered artifacts of an ancient civilization on Yaval 1A. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of the stars roughly 6 million years ago. Based on the age of the artifacts, the aliens called themselves the Yuth and appear to have been a very large flat arthropod analog. It seems a single individual could reach the length of nearly 100 meters as an adult. Holy shit. And it was apparently exceedingly rare for having more than two or three years to, to travel aboard the same starship. Situation I don't think I've ever had this event chain. That is pretty cool. I wonder... Yeah, I was about to say. Um, as soon as you're done, uh, grab the research project in this system. Okay, so we should be able to build a, not a brigand class two months from now. So just topping up on energy supplies, which we're going to need for this colony ship, because the colony ship does eat up eight energy a month. Okay. The science ship is just battering along. Again, I'm very surprised. I haven't seen any aliens whatsoever. All right, there's the... That's the expectation right there. It's only minus seven in this case. Uh, ship maintenance, 11. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's build another Corvette. Well, the camera mod still seems to be working. It, it, it does appear to be a little bit broken, though. Oh, and now it is broken again. So apparently only if I focus on a planet, the mod works, which is a bit annoying. Uh, this is the rally point that we want. Okay, you are on your way to our first home amongst the stars. 10% precursor. Nice. We can definitely use that. Okay, the construction ship has managed to build on that tile that we wanted. We need one more brigand class if we can. Uh, overwhelming. They don't really care for us, so. The uh, scientist is leveled. That's great. That means we can go for some more complicated uh, things. But we're going to go and wrap up this episode. It's the first one in a new series, Mankind Returns. And what a, what a start it is. It, it feels so invigorating starting a new game of Stellaris. It's just, oh, I, I, I cannot get over it how much fun I have starting a new series in a new game, well, a new a new expansion, and a new patch. And Utopia has been something that's been coming for a while. The tradition system uh, is going to give so much more additional flair to our empire. The, um, the faction system that's in there, we'll probably get a faction pop-up sometime soon, uh, is going to make things really interesting, and I'm really looking forward. It's a slightly smaller galaxy than usual, 200 star or less, but I still think we're going to have a fun time with this. Until next time. Take good care of yourselves and play with hyperdrive because it's awesome. <laughs>